Hey guys, welcome to the Starry Pumpkin um, painting tutorial. I'm super excited that you're here and you're going to be watching me um, if you're watching the replay. Totally fine, I understand. Sometimes we just don't have time to, um, to get on a live and watch, right? So, I am going to be doing the Pumpkin Starry Night. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I'm super excited. I'm going to walk you guys through this one. However, duh, I have a twist for you guys. I'm going to be doing it in different colors, so get creative here. Um, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get creative with you guys. And um, yeah, let me know you're watching. Hi, Joanne. I see you watching. Um, just gather your supplies if you want to go ahead and paint with me. So you're going to need a chip brush, a three-fourths wash brush, a liner brush, and then I have this little small um, flat brush, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet, um, just in case we need it. And then I'm going to gather my supplies. I'm just moving my computer over here so I can see your comments. Um, if you're here with me live, let me see. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right place because sometimes I tend to not be in the right place. Okay. All right. So we are a go. Are you guys ready to paint with me? I have my instructions now. In the guides, you have your instructions. So I have my instructions right here in front of me. You can print these out and you can use them. It shows you step by step by picture, which I love because it's so much easier when it's pictures, right? Um, so yeah, I'm ready, excited. I hope you guys are excited. I cannot wait to paint. So the colors that we're going to use today, which I'm going to use whatever colors I have. I'm going to do like a purple. I don't know. I'm just going to go crazy. Okay. I'm just going to go crazy with the colors. This is your canvas, so you can use whatever colors you want, but I'm actually going to use purple but I'm going to tell you what colors are on the paper that are in the guides for you. So we have red, and this is just a Tus Tuscan red. We have orange. You can use like a bright orange, or you can use a pumpkin spice orange, which I am like almost running out because I've been painting pumpkins for the past week. I'm mean, just pumpkins everything, right? Um, and then you're going to want some navy... You can do like navy um, blue, or you can just use regular blue. I don't think I have a navy. No, I just have primary. You can add a little bit of black and a little a little black in your blue, and, and you can make navy. Um, black and brown, of course. Um, I'm just using uh, burnt ombre from Deco Art, and then turquoise. I am actually using this new one. Um, it's I don't know, it's just something someone gave me, so I'm using this one. And then white and, of course, green for our grass. So, all right, guys, if you're ready to get started, grab your plates. Grab your canvas now. I'm painting over a canvas today because I just need to get rid of some canvases. So I'm painting over this um, just so I can have a different design on my paint. And you can totally do that too. So you can totally paint over any designs that you have. Um, I do it all the time. Um, and yeah, there we go. Um, I have my brushes. I have my paints. I have my cup of water. I have my wipes. I'm going to use my wipes today. I have my wipes. And we're ready to rock and roll. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn you guys around and then put you down here so you can see what I'm exactly I'm doing. Okay. Here we go. So we are going to start off with our background. Actually, I'm going to lift you guys up. There we go. I know he's a little cute little cactus, but he's going to go bye-bye here in a minute. <laughs> um, we're going to start with our background. Now, as I'm doing this, because I'm going to be doing my only my spin on this painting, as we're doing this, um, just create whatever you feel comes to you. So what I like about painting is that, you know, it, there's no wrong way of doing it. And 
I am following through the instructions. So I am going through the instructions with you. However, I'm kind of doing my own thing. I'm doing my own spin on this. So like I said, do what you feel is creative. Um, I do like using my creative mind and just doing whatever. Um, and that's what's the fun about it. Like this is supposed to be fun. This isn't supposed to be stressful. This is supposed to be fun. So this is kind of like for me, and hopefully you can hear me because my air is on. But for me, this is a stress relief. So I've been, um, as you know, I've been kind of absent from our group a little bit. Um, we had a, I guess I could talk about it now. It's a little easier for me to talk about it now than it was a month ago, but we had a death in the family. And so I had been absent from the group for a good while, just kind of dealing with my own grief and painting has really helped me, um, overcome my grief. And so that's kind of why I do this is to get into the group and just create and show you guys how to do things and show you that painting's not about doing it correctly. Painting for, for me, and I don't know for you, maybe you can tell, tell me in the comments, but for me, painting's about releasing. Um, hold on, let me go turn off this air for a minute. Or turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down. I don't wanna turn it off, because then it gets really, really hot in here. It does, it gets really, really hot in my house. <laughs> and we're in Southern California, so it's still a little hot, being August. Um, it did cool down a little bit when it rained, but it's still a little hot. So, what I was saying is, you know, I've been absent from the group, and the reason why I've been absent from the group is, I'm just gonna take my brush, is because we had a death in the family, and it was very unexpected, and it was really hard to kind of get back in the groove of things because I kind of lost my passion for creating. And the reason why I created this group is so that, you know, when you lose your passion for creating, there's tutorials and stuff in here for you to create. But also it just helps release whatever you're feeling. And I think that that for me is important. I'm just taking my chip brush and I'm just going to come in here with some purple. I'm going to do the whole background um, in purple and a little bit of the, the white. I'm not doing the blue, so if you're, if you're doing blue, you can do blue. Um, do whatever color you feel that is needed here. So I'm just covering my whole canvas with purple here. So yeah, I, um, I had, I, I felt really it, I felt like it was really hard for me to get back in the swing of, you know, creating stuff. And, you know, I just got to a point now, even though sometimes, some days it's really, really hard. Um, if, you know, if you've ever dealt with grief before, it, it comes and goes and it comes and goes in waves. And so I just got to a point where now I feel like I can actually start creating more and doing more, not only in my business, but, um, you know, in my daily life. And so painting kind of helps me soothe that a little bit and helps me, I don't know, like it's like therapy for me. Like right now I'm happy. This painting, painting stuff like this makes me happy. Um, and that's the biggest thing is, you know, painting should bring you joy. It shouldn't be stressful. It should bring you joy and make you feel happy. And so I took a break and I'm back um, because I feel like if I took a longer break than what I needed, I mean, you know, take what you need, right, when you need it. Um, I feel like if I would have just taken a whole entire like I did take like a couple it's been a couple months since you know I want to thank last was it July July I did the mason jar 
craft tutorial, but I didn't go live because that was during the time that, you know, our mom was sick and she wasn't doing so well. So I um, had gone to go see her and um, I couldn't do the live because I was, you know, going to see her and making sure what she needed and, you know, everything. And so that's kind of why I just did the... Um, just did the tutorial. So that tutorial is actually in the guides. Um, and I didn't go live because I was dealing with a lot with family and everything like that and trying to like be there for family. Um, and that happens, you know, like it happens in life. Like you, you, you have to be there for family sometimes when there's things going on. And then I came home and you know, she got worse. She went back into the hospital and got worse. And so I sent my husband because that's his mom. I mean, she's like a mom to me. She's like my bonus mom. So I sent him and I'm so thankful that I sent him because to be honest, I don't know, like, I didn't know how much longer she had and it was so quick and it was so unexpected and it was really, really hard. So I, yeah, I took a break for a whole entire month to deal with my grief and I'm still kind of dealing with it some days are easier than others if you've ever dealt with grief you know the feeling of you know, you never know like when you're gonna lose a loved one and it can be really really tough and so painting for me is you know that solace solace for me you know what I mean I'm just rinsing my brush um, I'm going to paint a green line, but you know what? I'm actually going to do a different color. You can paint a green line. I know this does not look like, going to look like, <laughs> it's not going to look like a pumpkin at the end, but I'm going to do black. So I'm actually doing like a Halloween theme here. So I'm doing like a Halloween starry night. Um, but you can use green. So what the next step is to use green over the bottom. So if you've done the blue, I've done purple. But if you've done blue, so you could do blue, and you can actually, I probably need to come in here with a little bit of white, um, but I think I'm going to keep this purple. Whoops. I got, man, I got water over it. It's okay. I can just, whoops, I can just go over it with some more. There we go. Some more purple. <laughs> um, so if you did your blue... That's totally okay. You could do whatever color you want. I'm doing purple because I'm doing like a Halloween pumpkin type of theme. Um, I think this is going to look really, really cool and really, really pretty. So what you're going to do next is you're just going to kind of um, come in here with some green. But I'm going to come in here with some black and some black and gray. I'm actually going to do black and gray. Oh my goodness, I have way too much water on, <laughs> on my little paintbrush here. Okay. I need paper towels. Oh, don't forget your paper towels. It's one of the one of the good materials that you need. I'm just gonna grab like a bunch. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go about one fourth of the canvas. So I'm gonna kind of come in here, about right here on the line, right here. But I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of black. So like right about here is where I want my line to be. This is going to be where my pumpkin's going to sit on top of here. But I'm actually going to grab some gray here. We're going to do gray and black for the bottom. Oops. And I like doing little spins on my own um my like the my own painting. So not all my paintings always look the same, which is totally fine. Um, they don't always have to look exactly like the picture. It never does. Like every time I do um, any of my painting, you know, a repainting or something, it never turns out the same way. I don't know why it just doesn't work like that. I'm, but you're going to just kind of come in here. I'm actually going to do a little heel here a little bit. So you're going to kind of dip it down here and then dip it up. Kind of like that. There we go. 
I like that. And like I said, it's your canvas. You can do whatever you want with it. You can do different colors. I'm just doing black because I'm doing like a, a Halloween starry night pumpkin. There we go. And then you're just going to let this dry. So we're actually going to take a dry break. And if you, if it's too long of a dry break, um, you can use a hair dryer to kind of go over it with a hair dryer. Um, that way you, if you want to dry it a little bit faster, you can, but we're just going to let this dry. Now this is some thick paint. So I've never used this paint before. It's, uh, by Royal Talons. Um, I've never used this before, but I really, really like it. Someone gifted it to me. Um, and I was like, well, I'm going to use it. And I really like this, this paint. It's very thick. As you can tell, like it's very, very thick. Um, I just really like this, how it smooths. It goes on there really, really good. Um, I'm just wondering if I can like find it online. Um, because the colors are just vibrant. I really like how vibrant the colors are. Um, Maybe that's something I'll search up right now. <laughs> I know, like, I'm totally, totally random, right? So it's called Talons. Let's see. It's called Royal Talons. Oh, they actually have a website on the back. That's cool. So let's go to the website. So let's see. It's called, it's Royal Talons.com. I just want to see, like, because I really like this paint. But it says it's from the Netherlands. Which is interesting. Huh. I've never really used this paint. But I really like this stuff. It goes on really, really smooth. And it's really, really thick. Um... It's the first time I've ever used this one. They are from Netherlands. It has a satin gloss to them. It has a pasty consistency, which I really like. Um, oh, it says it's thinnable with water and, and waterproof after drying. That's pretty cool. Oh, maybe I should go back. Let's see. Oh, I really like this paint. So, I don't know if you can get it, like, sent to you. Let's see. Let's just look the standard acrylic paint. They don't really have, like, a... Sh I mean, it's a shop, but it's not, like... I don't know. I don't think you can order it online. Sorry guys, I'm looking to see if I can't find this, this, um, this paint. Like, they have a website, but there's no, I don't know if, like, you can actually order it because it's from the Netherlands, the Netherlands, um, let's see, okay, well, I don't know super weird. You know what? Let's look it up on Amazon. Maybe I can get it on Amazon. This is really good paint. I've never used it before and I really like it. Have you ever like found a paint that you really, really like and hold on, and you just love to use? Like I use deco, I use deco art. I love deco art. Um, this stuff is like Uh, gold, like, come on. Like, I feel like I can't find it. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Ooh, I found it. It's really, really, it's like 10. So one of these are like $10 for just a tube. Isn't that crazy? 
But I also think it's because it comes from the Netherlands. Ooh. They have all different kinds of colors. I love colors. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love colors. <laughs> I don't, like, if you've been, like, watching me for, like, a while now, you know I love colors. And I love glitter. So we are actually going to use glitter today. Um, is this dry yet? Oh, my goodness. I might actually have to whip out my my dryer here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So the next step is to do um, our moon, our few of our circles or whatnot. Um, and I was kind of debating on like how I'm going to do this because I'm doing like, I'm doing this whole Halloween thing here. Um, I think I'm going to do it in yellow instead of using orange. So I'm actually going to use this yellow and then we're going to use a little bit of the white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do a circle here, a circle here, and then a small circle here. So that's kind of like what I'm going to do. I need a round brush. I forgot my round brush. Where's my round brush? Oh, so you do need a round brush for this. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a circle, but first let's do white and then do our yellow. Oh, I'm running out of white. This is like my favorite white too now. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take our round brush and we're going to um, take it into the white and then a little bit of the yellow. And we're just going to come in here and do... Um, a few circles we're just gonna kind of do like round circles. we're gonna use our our paintbrush to kind of go around kind of like little small streaks around um, but let's start right here I'm gonna just do a little circle here that way I know where my my placements of my little circles are gonna be I'm gonna do one right here And then I'm going to do one more right up here. And then one down here. Now, your pumpkin's going to cover most of your, um, most of your background, right? So, when, once this dries, we're going to paint over it with our pumpkin. So we're going to paint our pumpkin over this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start with my yellow. I'm going to start with this one right here. But first, hold on. I'm looking at my instructions. First, I need to do white. So I need to like have a pathway for my, because I'm starting on the, on the starry night, on the, on the, the sky. <laughs> I don't have any words today. So we're just going to kind of come in here with our round brush and do a few little roundabout dots, or not dots, but lines. And we're just going to kind of go in like a pattern here. Oops. And I know that our paint isn't dry yet, and that's okay. We're just going to go in a little pattern with our white. Kind of like a little, what's it, little loop-de-loop -loop here. So we're just doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. A little loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. And then we're gonna kind of keep going with our pattern. We're gonna come out right here and do another one. I gotta sneeze. Oh no. <coughs> Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. Okay, we're just gonna come in here and do another little loop here. And I'm just using my round brush to kind of drag the, the paint around. how I'm just doing 
little dragging my paint around here. Okay. And then you're going to want to do a little bit of white down here. So we're going to do a little bit of white. And we're just kind of not really going in a straight line. We're just kind of doing a, like a curved line here. And then we're going to come up here and do some more lines up here. So you're just going to kind of come in here and just lines wherever. And the white's going to be like your foundation of where everything is going to be on your starry night. And now we're going to come in here with a the yellow. And we're going to start in on our um, circles. So I'm going to just grab my yellow. And I can use a little orange. You know what? Let's just do a little bit of orange too. I don't mind adding a little bit of orange to that. Just a little bit, not a lot. Um, and then we're just going to come in here and do a few circles and, you know, do some of the stars. And they're just pretty much lines and dots. So that's all we're doing. We're just doing small dots and lines um, surrounding them. So we're just going to do, like, over here. With this one right here, we're just going to come in here. And we're just doing small dots and lines. There we go. And that's kind of why I'm using the round brush because it's just easier to use the round brush. So I'm just doing I'm just doing little lines and dots. Um, I'm not not getting too crazy with it just yet we're gonna get a little crazy here in a minute with um, with the dots so over here same thing we're just gonna do same thing we want to make this one a little bigger so we're just gonna make this one a little more bigger than the last one. This one's going to be our main little, even though it's going to get covered up by, um, it's going to get covered up by the pumpkin, that's totally fine. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next one keep getting my arm into the black here okay just same thing just a bunch of dots and lines this one's gonna be a little tiny one tiny one here we go here we go all right so a little lines and dots um, on our little swirlies are little um, stars so these are stars these are moon this is the moon over here so we're actually gonna make the moon a little more solid here so we're just gonna kind of still come in here with a little bit of that yellow and we're gonna make this a little more solid here and a little more bigger so we're just gonna come in here with a little more paint here and I'm just kind of dotting and dragging my paintbrush. I'm just going to make this a little more solid. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of white in here, a little, just a little bit, not a lot, just so it kind of. Thank you. 
give it a little shadow work here. All right, go ahead and rinse your brush for a minute. And while everything else dries, I actually need to fix this down here because I put my arm on it. Oopsie. All right. So we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna do a little more we're going to do a little more work with the um, the lines and stuff and the dots and the lines and um, with our round brush. So we're going to use our round brush. We're going to do um, few, of the, few more of those. And I'm going to put, I think I'm actually going to do, let's see. I think I'm, like, I'm going to do yellow and I'm going to do some turquoise so I'm gonna use some turquoise um, it's not gonna be like one I mean I don't know we'll see I'm just kind of kind of going with it just trying to go with it a little bit okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around and do some lines and then we're just gonna come in here and do kind of like paths so we're gonna do like little paths um, we're going to use some longer lines with some of the, the, um, lighter purple. So I'm actually going to use lighter purple and some gray in this one with a little bit of blue with a tint of turquoise a little bit. Um, and we're just going to come in here and do some bigger lines. So we're going to do some longer lines. We're going to do, um, some swirly lines again, and then some small segment lines and maybe some dots and dashes, kind of like what we did right here with our little path. But we're just going to kind of come in here and do, you know, just play with it. Do do some up here, do some over here. Um, just kind of go along the path that um, you're following. So if I'm going to do white here, I'm also going to do all the different colors here, right? If I'm doing white up here, and I'm going to do all the colors around. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're just going within a pattern. Um, there's no wrong way of doing this. Um, so just go with the flow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to use some light purple. So I'm going to grab my white. So I'm just going to use a light purple. I'm going to come in here and do, I feel like it's not going to show up if I do it this way. It might. We're going to do lines, just for doing lines and we're just kind of following a path here. Now, if this doesn't work, like if the light purple or if you're using like light blue or something doesn't work, um, no worries. Just keep going in a pattern. Um, it'll eventually come together. I'm just kind of going in a pattern. You can do dots, you can do um, long streaks, you can do small streaks. Just coming in here and just going with the pattern. And then if you want to do like a pattern here, maybe another pattern there. Um, I'm just just kind of coming in here and doing and you want to go over those lines here with different colors so I'm just going this way with it I'm just kind of doing my own thing here you can do some long ones too if you wanted to I'm just dotting and I'm, I'm dragging my paintbrush here. And then I'm going to go back over it. I don't like the way that one looked. I'm going to go back over it with a different color. So we're just going to do different. We're kind of pretty much layering everything. 
um, we're just implementing and layering and all those things. I'm actually going to come in here with some some um, yellow. I'm going to go over all the little white. Things here. Like I said, you're just following the path that you have with all the colors that you want. It's pretty much all I'm doing. This should be so relaxing right now. I am just following all the little patterns over here. Just kind of doing my own thing. I know it's not um, blue, but if you want to do blue, you could do blue. You could do almost any color you want. I'm going to come in here and do some yellow. All right, now I'm going to go back over it with a little bit of gray. I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to do some gray colors here. Dip it in my little... Maybe some add some blue if I wanted to. Get all crazy with it if you want. There's no, like I said, there's no wrong way of doing this. I'm just following the paths that I have laid out. And that's pretty much all you're doing. out the path here my gray looks like green almost okay let's do some turquoise I want to brighten it up a little just a little bit I just want to brighten up a just a tiny bit so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in my turquoise and I'm just gonna come in here and do a, like wavy lines to kind of lighten it up a little bit Do little wavy lines here and there. Maybe some dots. To kind of give it some color. Just a little color. You don't have to like do... I mean go, go mad if you want. Because it's your canvas. I'm just doing a little bit of the color just to kind of give it that starry look to it. Like I said, there's no wrong way of doing this. There we go. Because most of your pumpkin's just going to hide it anyways. So, um, yeah. This is so much fun. I hope you guys are having fun too if you're painting with me. And if you're not and you're just watching, you can totally do this later on if you want. I would love to see like the different variations of your pumpkins. This would be so fun to just see what everybody else creates. Um, cannot wait to see yours. And I'm also going to add a little gold in the background after it all dries a little bit. And yes, we're using glitter today. <laughs> 
totally using glitter today. Okay, so we got to let this dry a little bit because we're going to do the pumpkin. Now, my pumpkin's going to look different than yours. I'm not going to do a um, your traditional orange pumpkin. I'm actually going to do a black, a black, yellow, and purple pumpkin, but I'm going to do a gold. So I'm actually going to use gold today. Um, I really want to use these metallic colors. I'm wanting to create a gold. I think it may be like a copper, but then I was like, nah, I think I'm going to do a golden gold um, pumpkin a little bit. Put some gold, golden in there. I just have to find, here's a rich espresso. That would be great too. Oh, here it is. I found it. So I used a glorious gold. I barely have any in here, but I'm still going to use it. Um, I'm going to use that one. Oh, wait, I have a new bottle. Oh, this is the splendid gold. This will work too. Um, so I'm actually going to do several things. So when this dries, I'm going to use white because I want my pumpkin to pop. I'm actually going to use white. So I'm going to put some white on my thing. Actually, you know what? Let me get a new plate. That way I have enough room to do this. Okay. So I have my white and then I'm going to do black for my pumpkin shadowing. So we're going to do some shadow work here in a minute. Um, and then everything else will go on there. I'm going to put some purple on here too. That's not purple. Where's my purple? There's my purple. I'm going to do some purple. So we're just going to do purple, black, and white here in a minute. Um, as soon as this dries, I'm actually going to whip out my hair dryer. So while we are, while you're probably waiting for yours to dry, I'm going to make sure I got to unplug my thing over here. Okay. I'm actually going to use my hair dryer because I want it to dry really fast. Um, so if you're going to use a hair dryer, I suggest using, if you have a hair dryer that has a cooling, oops, a cooling, make sure that doesn't fall. This is going to tip my water over, so we're going to move that. Make sure you have one that has a cooling. So this one has a warm cool. I always put it to cool. And I do it on low, sometimes high. If you want to do it on high, you can do it on high too. Um, I just don't want to like... Okay. <laughs> I need to move my paints. Okay. Move my paints for a minute. There we go. Alright, so I do it on low at first. And then if I want to do a high, I can. But make sure when you get a, um, a blow dryer, you have a cool, cool setting on here. Okay, because you don't want it hot and you don't want it warm because you end up melting your paint. All right, let's go ahead and start the drying process. I'm going to be honest, this looks really, really cool in person. So I'm drying it because I, I have to put my pumpkin on top of my, um, my painting here. You know it would be really cool if I put some hot pink on here too. Ooh, I'm just getting crazy today. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just all crazy today with all the colors. It's okay. It's all good. Now most of this will be um, hidden by your pumpkin, which is totally okay. Because it's going to look really, really cool in the end. I know. Hair dryer's in the way and can't hear me. But I want to get it dry enough so that we can move on to our pumpkin. It's like really wet right here. Almost 
done. Hold on, let's see. It's almost dried. I just need this part to be dry a little bit. There we go. I need this right here to dry. Good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Oop. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We're going to start on our pumpkin. So our pumpkin has like, you got your front of your pumpkin, your sides of your pumpkin. Um, I'm trying to go by in the directions a little bit. Okay. So we're, since we're doing just these colors for the pumpkin. Um, oops. Uh oh. Oh no. All my paints just fell over. It's okay. Let me go ahead and unplug my dryer here. Okay. So since we're we're doing different colors for our pumpkin, you might be doing uh, orange. Yeah. Can't even get my. You might be doing orange and that's totally okay, but we're gonna take our small little shader brush here that we have and we're just gonna do some, some lines here. So I'm actually gonna use a lighter, lighter purple. You can use your orange if you have an orange, a lighter orange or your red. So you're gonna use, you can use your red. Um, you can also just use your orange if you want, but I'm going to use my my little light light purple. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of look at our canvas and we're going to determine where we want our pumpkin to be. I want my pumpkin to be a little bit over here. So I'm just going to start, and as you can see on the instructions, it shows you in the instructions. You're just going to kind of do like a, a small curve here but we're gonna start in the middle I'm just gonna do a middle circle for you guys and then we're gonna branch out so I'm gonna show you how to branch out okay so we're gonna start I want my pumpkin to be right here I'm gonna come down because I want my my background I want my background to be further away so I'm actually going to start my pumpkin right here just kind of eye it a little bit I'm going to start it right here. So I'm, it's just an oval. So it's an oval shape. Ooh, that's an ugly oval shape. It's just an oval shape. I'm not going to go too far down. So we're just doing an oval shape. And it's okay if you gathered some of that paint thing. Paint right there. Hold on. You're just doing an oval shape. It looks like more like a teardrop to me, but maybe we can round this off a little. There we go. Oval shape a little bit. There we go. Got my oval shape. So I have my oval shape here. Uh-oh. My thing froze. I want to make sure I can see your guys' comments. Kind of like an oval shape. Okay. I'm just going to dip it in my white and I'm just going to, now I'm going to do my outer layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one right here. 
So I'm just going to come out like this and bring it out. Kind of like a big, a big C here. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more and this one's going to come off of this one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a smaller portion right here. And there's your first side, okay? The first side of your pumpkin. Now we're gonna come do the same thing on the other end. So I'm gonna come further down, like we're gonna do right here. And then we're gonna bring it in. Now my pumpkin looks a little lopsided and that's okay. Pumpkins are not meant to be perfect. Now I know this is what it looks like. It looks really weird, which is totally okay. Um, my pumpkin's a little bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. Um, pumpkins are not perfect, guys. Just remember that. Pumpkins are not perfect. So we're just bringing this one in, too. Okay? It looks really, really wonky right now, but I promise you it'll look fine when we're done with it. Um, we just want to make sure that each of our sections are good to go. It looks a little wonky. Totally fine. Not a big deal. So now I'm going to come in here with a little bit of purple. I'm going to come in here with my purple and do some shading. Because my, my pumpkin's going to be purple and black. So I want to do a little shading here. I'm going to leave a little bit of that white there. Same thing goes on the outside. I'm just going to do a little bit of shading with my purple and my black. Okay, on the outside, a little bit of purple in my black. You're gonna use your, if you're using orange, just use orange for your outside. Now my pumpkin looks kind of weird. It's okay, it'll be fine, I promise. Okay, um, I probably could have left a little bit more right there. Totally okay, not a big deal. I could have made it a little bit smaller, but I want my pumpkin to look huge, so. <laughs> um, and that's okay. You should leave about one fourth of the canvas on the bottom um, and then one inch up top, which I didn't do. It's totally fine, um, but it'll give me some room to put my, my stem. So my stem is actually going to go right here. And then, um, then we're just going to kind of fill it in the colors that we want. So because I'm doing purple. I'm going to do this white first, and then I'm going to come in here and do some shading, okay? So what I'm going to do, where's my cup? I know it looks kind of wonky right now, but that's okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of shading here. Um, I'm, not going to I'm also going to use yellow to kind of bring that out a little bit. So let's go ahead and do our black. So I'm going to come in here with a little bit of black to kind of give it that look that I want okay, and now I'm actually going to switch my brushes I'm going to go to this brush now I'm going to come in here with some purple there we go and then I'm going to do a little bit little bit little bit of yellow so if you want to make it look um i'm just gonna grab some yellow if you want it to look like if there's light shining down right here you can do this so you're gonna bring in some yellow i'm just bringing in yellow because i want my i want my pumpkin to look different than a normal pumpkin so i'm just doing this whole shading part and then I can come in here with a little bit of white too if I wanted to so I know it looks like a hot mess right now but I promise you it will look wonderful here in a minute so I'm gonna kind of do that the same way all throughout my sides here so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of black but I want to do a little bit of purple. I'm actually going to come in here. 
and start filling my pumpkin with purple because I'm using purple. Now you're going to fill your pumpkin with whatever color you're using. I'm just doing purple because, well, I'm being different today, which is totally fine. You can use whatever colors you want. You can even do a teal pumpkin if you wanted to do a teal pumpkin. Um, I'm going to come in here and do a little more, more, um, shading here. I'm just going to come in here with a little more purple. I want my purple to stand out a little more. There we go. And then I'll come in here and do a little more yellow. I'm going to do a little bit of white and yellow together. I'm going to come in here and just fill. We're just filling in our pumpkin here. And I like the fact that I have a little blue, blue in here, which is totally cool. Oops. I like that I have this little blue streak in here. Like I said, just get really creative when you're doing this. Like I said, I'm just being creative here with my painting of my pumpkin. I know it looks kind of weird, but we're getting there. I'm going to set, I'm going to come back in here and do some highlights. I'm just filling it in with my purple. And then I'm going to come back in here and do a little few little highlights to kind of give it that. Um, so I'm going to come in here and do some highlights. I'm just going to give it some highlights right here. So we're going to. Bring in that white. So you just want to bring in some of that white. Maybe some at the bottom too if you wanted. And let's do a little bit of white on the front of our pumpkin here. There we go. Let's spread that out a little bit. There we go. And I know like right now it looks really weird with like the purple background. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in here with a little bit of that te teal color. And then I'm going to come in with some gold too. So we're going to come in here with some teal color. No, I'm just feeling like teal today. I don't know why. Bring some of that over here. <laughs> All right. I'm digging this pumpkin. It looks really good. Okay. Now, if you're doing orange, you can you can do orange. You can do different color oranges. You can do um, any, pretty much anything you want to do. Uh, mine just looks a little messy right now, and that's totally okay. Totally okay. Totally okay to be messy. All right, so now we're going to do the stem. And the stem for me is going to be black. So I'm just going to use black. But you're going to use brown if you're using any other color. Like um, if you're using... If you're using orange, you're going to want to do a brown and some... Um, you might want to do some brown on the bottom here. I'm going to do a little bit of white. I'm actually going to come in here and do a little gray and white to make like my my grass. Um, but let's go ahead and do the stem. So the stem, we're going to start at the top. I'm going to use black. And how we do the stem is that we're going to um, kind of just bring in a little bit of this black and what we're gonna oh actually you know what let me grab my my liner brush I'm gonna use my liner brush to do my lines first so where I want my stem is kind of in the middle right here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go out we're gonna do a little curve we're gonna bring it around I'm gonna bring it all the way around Oops. 
I'm kind of like that. It looks kind of wonky because I did this little thing, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it thicker when it comes out like this. And we're just going to bring it around like so with our liner brush. And then I'm going to bring it around this way like this. And then when we bring it together, it looks all congruent together. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of fill it in. I'm just going to do a little light fill in here. I'm just using my brush to kind of bring it in a little bit. And this is my liner brush I'm using. Bring in my little liner brush here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of gray here just to kind of offset that color of black so it doesn't look all black. And also it does a little bit of shading. That would be great right there. And then you're just going to fill it in. If you're doing brown, you're just going to fill it in. You're going to kind of just come in here with a little bit of white with your brown. I'm just doing gray because I want my, I want my, um, my stem to be black and gray. And then if you want to do some shading, you can do some shading. You can put some white in here. I'm just coming back in here and doing. Okay. All right. And there is your stem. There we go. My stem. Oh my goodness, it's starting to look really good. I really like it. Um, so yeah, and then we're just gonna come in here and blend this a little bit more. There we go. All right, well, it's a little shiny on y'all's end. I'm looking at it through the computer. It's a little shiny. Does it look a little shiny? Um, and like I said, if you need to do some shading, you can do some shading up here too. So like if you wanted to do some some white up here, you could just kind of I'm trying to get rid of some of this paint on my paintbrush. There we go. Alright, and let's go ahead and do some grass so um, to do the green grass you can use yeah red yellow lime green which is green and yellow together and some turquoise um, you're just gonna add some streaks and shading um, like down here if you're doing like the shading of um, your pumpkin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some white shading here so I'm just kind of do a little bit of white shading here I'm gonna bring up cuz I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use white as my grass a little bit so I'm just gonna do a little bit of shading here with a little bit of white you can use a green or lime green or whatever it is that it says, it says here to use the lime green, which you can totally do that too. Um, I'm just doing some white shading because I'm going to make my grass. Um, like a gray and white color to it. And I want a little shading down there a little bit. Like I want it to look a little different down here, so... There we go. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. All right. Now we're gonna do our um, our grass. So our grass is going to be little um, streaks going upwards. So I like to use my liner brush for this. You can also use your 
shader brush for this too. Um, so like for me, since I'm using, when I'm doing this, I'm just going to use gray. I'm going to dip this into my gray. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do some grass. So we're going to kind of come up like this with our grass, like kind of like just upward strokes. You can use your, your, um, your shader brush, or you can use your liner brush, which sometimes works better. I don't like that one. So if I wanted to come in here and do a little grass work, I could. I'm just using my liner brush and I'm kind of just feathering up with it. I'm not going to do the whole entire, um, the whole entire bottom piece because I don't, it's black and I don't, I really don't want to do the whole bottom piece. You can, you can go all the way up, you can go however you want. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit here and there to kind of represent grass a little bit. So all I'm doing is just feathering my my brush here. And I'm kind of just going back and forth, back and forth with my brush a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of grass on the bottom. Like I said, I'm just going to do just a little bit, not a lot. And I'm just doing back and forth, back and forth. Kind of going cross side too, like I'm going cross and cross. Kind of just doing a little bit of grass on the bottom there. Maybe bring it up a little bit. There we go. I think I like that. I like the way that looks. It looks really good. Okay, now the fun part comes. I am actually going to do some gold. So we're going to use glorious gold, maybe some splendid gold. Um, I'm going to do some little highlights here to just make it look a little highlighted with the gold. Um, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. So I'm just going to take my smaller brush and I'm going to come in here and do the lines like right here. I'm going to do a little gold on them. Just to make it look magical. Just want it to look magical. I do some in here too. Magical. This was not on the list, but if you're looking for to just put a little bit of more um, fun into your canvas. This is called Splendid Gold by Deco Art. It's one of their metallic colors. And I love it. It's like one of my favorite. That and the 100 karat gold one is my favorite too. Okay, and it looks so different than what it what we were gonna originally with the the orange pumpkin. Um, the little gold in the, the bottom here. And then if you want to go back in and do a little bit of the dots with gold too, I think I might do that too. I'm just going to come in here and do a little bit of the gold up in the sky a little bit. Go crazy <laughs> if you want. There you go. I think it looks really good. I think we I think I did an excellent job. It looks a little messy, but I love it. And then if you want to add some glitter, you can totally add some glitter. 
Oh, where is my glitter? Oh, there's my glitter. So I, I like using this um, crystal ball glitter. Um, and I just use my finger. And we're just going to put it in places that I want it. So I want it totally in with my pumpkin, of course. And then I like to kind of put it in the sky, too. So, like, do a little bit of dotting in the sky. Give a little star look to it. Because it's a starry night. Why not? It's nice and messy. All right. So I hope this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next month, I will be doing a craft. Um, it looks totally different. I could go back in and do a little bit more work to it if I wanted to. Um, so next month is September. So September is going to be a craft. So I think um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Um, I do one painting a month and then one painting a craft. I do one craft a month. So next month is a craft month. And I'm thinking about doing something fall. So maybe we'll do something on wood. Um, maybe like a a door sign or um, maybe I'll do like something cute like I don't know um, but I'm super excited because um, we're going to be doing hold on, I'm trying to think of what we're doing I'm actually going to be doing a fall I think it's called a fall festival let me say it in the same as they Let's actually log in. No, nope. Hold on. I can actually look over here. I'm trying to think. We're doing a. I'm doing a three day workshop. So I'm gonna do a three day painting workshop. Um. And it, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Oh, the October Fest. So in October, I'm doing a three day workshop. It's a October Fest online paint party, and you guys are totally invited. Um. You actually, since you're a member of this group, I was thinking of giving you guys a discount for that. It is going to be three days of painting with me and just um, learning how to paint different designs and so forth. Um, and I was thinking about making it discounted for you guys in this group who, you know, you want to learn more or you want to learn how to do different types of paintings. Um yeah so that is going to be on october 11th it starts on a wednesday it ends on a friday it's a three-day event and um you guys are totally invited i'm going to send a link if you want to be involved in the Oktoberfest um uh, online paint party um just let me know just send me a message or just comment in here um I want to know more or whatever or me or whatever um, if you're watching the replay um, because I'm gonna have a special code for you to put in when you go and sign up for it so um, I'm actually gonna give you guys a discount since you're part of my my free group um, I'm gonna give you a discount just for joining my free group so I'm super excited to be able to do that with you guys hold on let me go ahead and turn this around oh. oh no okay I'm excited to do the Oktoberfest um, because I'm gonna be doing three paintings and it's gonna be super fun so if you want to be involved in that let me know um, just send me a message or just put me in the comments and I'll send you the link all right guys I am finished with my beautiful pumpkin painting um, it probably needs a little more work but that's okay <sighs> I think it looks really good. I really like it. Um, go ahead and paint yours and let me know um, how it turns out. And I can't wait to see your pictures. All right, guys. Until next month, I will see y'all later. Bye.